Yeah, this is a Don N5SKT. I was going to show you all uh, where I'm at, at least today. And uh, let's uh, see if I can record this better this time. Tried once already and did a pretty poor job of uh, doing things because I kept getting uh, text messages while I was trying to record. And Anyway, um, so what's going on here is uh, I have, uh, was working with uh, Chuck, uh, KK6USY, uh, Ham Radio Adventures. I was working with him on my doublet after he got back from the uh, trip to uh, Yosemite and um, I was discussing with him how I was, uh, you know, I showed him my, the doublet and went through some things with him and uh, uh, was talking to him and Ape about uh, the four to, four to one ballon that I'd built for it and was showing him that and then Chuck came in and said well wait a minute no it's not a four to one it's a one to one and uh with a one to one uh he he showed me uh several resources uh that uh show the one to one so anyway um he, I went to uh, HRO yesterday to get a one to one and when I um got there or or actually before I left I found that they also had a ZS6 BKW um which uh only has 44 uh foot le legs and uh the thing is right now I have my doublet is uh the uh legs are about uh 150 feet so the all together about 33 feet or 3 sorry 300 feet so anyway, um, I now have the uh, uh, ZS6 BKW deployed because I wanted to see what it was like to deploy a doublet. And uh, so in uh, this tree here, uh, there is the doublet, or I mean the uh, ZS6 BKW. Uh, it goes up into that tree there. And then it... Uh, goes over to that tree over there uh let's see no let's point it correctly yeah, that's right it's going up over there um there's actually uh if you can see it and i can walk over there actually it, there's a a green um paracord coming down um this paracord is uh i got off amazon it was uh 350 feet I think or no it's more than that close to a thousand seven hundred and fifty feet that's it of uh, paracord and I got the brighter green so I can see where it is and see how it lays out in the tree but anyway uh, it's up in this tree here so anyway there's one leg here that's coming up over my head and goes up into that tree over there and then um, the other leg goes to this tree right back here. And again, there's a kind of a slightly orange uh, deal. And uh, one of the things I found out about, because uh, the recommended height of a ZS6 BKW is uh, 30 feet. And that branch up there is about 30 feet. Let's see there. There it is, right, I believe, right there. Anyway, that's a uh, about three, uh, 30 feet, and that's about as hot, far as I can throw a 16-ounce bag. Um, uh, I'll show you real quick here. Uh, uh, this, uh, this bag here, and I need to pick it back all, all back up. This is a, it's actually a, it's from a company called Forrester. Now, the bag is our weaver bag, but uh, this is Forrester, and uh, I really like this uh, this cord that's here, that's with it. It's thin and uh, very, very slick, and uh, with this 16-ounce weight, I mean, it comes right down and drops in. Uh, 
and it works really well. Again, that's uh, something I got from Amazon, and it worked really well. The uh, better would be uh, a 12-ounce weight. I've also got a 12-ounce, and it, it works. It's a lot easier to throw, but yet still has the weight to pull the line down through the tree. Um, this right here is the uh, spool of stuff that I got. I'll uh, come down here and let you see it. Um, that's uh, 750, or sorry, 500 feet. 500 feet of 750 uh, par paracord. Um, it's not going to be as good as Mass Trant, no way. But, you know, it is what it is. So, anyway, uh, there's the ZS6BKW up in the tree. And uh, I'm going to come back over here because, oh, man, this thing keeps uh, doing that. But it's up, up there in that tree. And then, uh, like, uh, I have the, the ladder line in order to keep it away from this metal uh, cover I pulled it over here um, this is 40 feet of ladder line and I'm sure it's probably supposed to mostly run straight down from underneath there and we'll see how that works when I when I get there but um, anyway and I I hung it up uh, over this thing one of the legs of the deal so that it pull, that doesn't uh, lay on the ground and then uh, down here is the uh, one-to-one one ballon um, and uh, it's uh, basically it, it says it's a pal that on here it says pals ZS 6006 500 and what this the, that's not the part number of this particular ballon you can buy this ballon separately and it's a CM or M something. I can't remember exactly, but uh, I actually bought one of those separately uh, for the doublet. Um, and then I also bought a 1500 for a doublet. There is a uh, ladybug. Anyway. It, so, um, anyway, and then I've got this uh, coax, and this is just all temporary for now. Um, when I try to permanently do this, I'll probably come up here with the coax and go straight over there at height because I need to be able to get past the mower through here. Now, I know that uh, a lot of this is, a lot of this coax should be direct burial. And I'll do that when I permanently locate my shack. Um, uh, the shack will eventually go over in this area here. Sorry. In this area here, uh, the DX commander will come down and move over uh, somewhere else. And uh, I'll put the shack in, like, right in that area there. Um, and uh, locate it. I've kind of lined one out. I think I talked about it briefly last week uh, uh, that uh, Jody V5 uh, SAR uh, found a couple of companies that uh, are actually not far from me that uh, do the build the sheds and uh, there's one that I kind of priced out and whatever but I've got some things that are personal things that are going on right now. I can't uh, I can't uh, make a purchase like that right now until I get this other thing worked out so anyway and uh, that uh, coax comes in uh, down there and uh, oops, uh, comes along stupid lawnmower box um, comes along there and then comes up here into the uh, antenna genius it's actually sitting right now on Port number six. Now, I, I never even imagined I would have six of these things already connected to, into here, but you know, it is what it is. I don't know. Um, I was thinking I would have a couple of two meter um, connections on here at least, and 
that's not been what I've worked out so far and I still intend to uh, uh, maybe maybe next weekend maybe I'll wait till September but I'm gonna put up uh, either the buddy hex or the other hex beam and uh, get that set up and uh, start uh, using the hex beam but anyway um, that's uh, my update for now um, and uh, this is Don N5SKT73, uh, y'all.